will miss your bright eyes and sweet smile. For they say you are taking the sunshine that has brightened our pathway a while. Come and sit by my side if you love me. Do not hasten to bid me adieu. But remember the Red River and the cowboy that loves you so true As you go to your home by the river May you never forget those sweet hours That we spent in the Red River Valley And the love we exchanged mid the flowers Come and sit by my side if you love me. Do not hasten to bid me adieu. But remember the Red River Valley and the cowboy that loves you so true. Where's the bar? <laughs> Maybe they're just in a hurry to get to your party. Aren't you impressed? Sure, but will your father be? Well, maybe, if you can refrain from setting off firecrackers under him. You were always pretty rough on his dignity, you know, Roy. But that was when I was knee-high to a grasshopper. Besides, I'm guest of honor now. That's right. We'd better hurry. Can't you handle it? Sorry, Sheriff. Whose ID was it, anyhow? Yours. Yeah, I guess it was that. Yeah, you and your newspaper. Seems like we're splitting the blame, Gabby. Maybe I shouldn't have come home at all. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't. What's going on anyway, Gabby? You wrote me something about the dam when I sent you a power of attorney from a ranch. Why don't you wait and read the paper? <laughs> Why do you even bother to publish a paper? Anybody can get more news out of your whiskers. This is a mighty serious situation. You know the Red River. I ought to. I swam in it when it was a creek. Well, it won't be long before it won't even be a creek. Government's cutting it right off. Right here at its source in the mountain. Get your finger out of my eye. What for? Furnish power and light for what they call an essential industry. Well, I sort of figure it's essential to eat beef. What are we going to do for water? <laughs> You know, if you didn't gallivant around the country so much, you'd know. We're going to have a bypass canal from the dam. Whose dam? Well, you see, the government put up half the money. By scraping the bottom of the barrel, we managed to raise the other half to build the White Mountain Dam. We was going to bring the water from up here, down through the valley like this, into the old Red River. Get your fingers out of my mouth. But that was a year ago. Since then, things have happened. Accidental explosions... Careless workmen wrecking equipment? Why, a body'd think it was done on purpose. What's gonna happen? Why don't you figure it out? We've used up the government money, and thanks to your Pioneer Day homecoming, ours is stolen. We're in a mighty bad jam, son. As I see it, we have no choice. Yeah, as I see it, we're mighty lucky to get out of a bad hole. Now, if your partners will agree to this, I'll collect that stock and turn it over to you tomorrow night. Well, I'm against it. And the Red River Gazette's going to tell the world. I'm oh. his all you. And for him, I'd up and fight a circle saw. She can beat the doves a cooing when it comes to mountain wooing. That hillbilly sweetheart of mine. I'm the lady of hillbilly valley. 
and as pretty as a picture on the wall. I'm the pride of Smoky Mountain, and as pure as bubbling fountain, and she's gonna stay that way, as I recall. She's mine, all oh, his me, and there's nothing for that gal I wouldn't do. There will never be no others if the night can have my druthers. That hillbilly sweetheart of mine. Hurry up and give me a shave. Well, I'm a bad man with a razor today. I'll take a chance. What are you all steamed up about? That meeting. Somebody's trying to pull a hummer tucker. Did you hear something too? No, Pappy. Didn't you even hear a shotgun? No. Did you let it off? Ah, that darn thing let itself off. I know they were something up. Man, fine bloodhound you are. Come on. What are you doing up in that tree? Man's got a right to hunt coons, Eddie. Not on private property. Then what are you doing here? I'm a stockholder. So am I. I want to see what's going on. I'll bet my horse against a burrow that Murdoch's working for. Ridiculous. It's ridiculously simple. When you fellas turn over the controlling interest of the water company to Allison, he'll own the whole valley. A week won't make any difference. Postpone the meeting until then. If I'm wrong, no harm's been done. And if I'm right, you'll save yourself and everyone who's been stringing along with you. You know, uh, I don't mind you so much on the radio because I can always turn you off like that. Let me do the worrying, will you? When you pass the food to the sheriff, be careful he don't grab your wrist. Hey, when I pass food to that guy, it'll be on a shovel. <laughs> well, how do you think you're going to like the penitentiary? Oh, I understand it's right cozy. I'll expect you to visit me the first Tuesday of every month. I'll be delighted. Uh, bring me a cake once in a while, will you? Wouldn't you rather have some of Mrs. Bell's hot cake? Now, how are you going to hide a saw on a hot cake? What makes you think I'd try to help you escape? Oh, I don't know. You seem to be more friendly today than you were yesterday. Maybe that's because Dad's mad enough for both of us. Anyway, there wasn't any meeting today. You know, you haven't any proof against Mr. Allison. I guess you're right. But if I ever catch him, I'm going to pick him up by the heels, and if $182,000 falls out, I'll know I'm right. Pretty slick mount, mister. Suppose you think you can do it. Well, stand back and give me room and I'll sure try. All right. Ooh. It's the outrage of 1941. It's the same gang that stole Roy's horses from our corral. The sheriff's Chinese cook says the leader was riding Roy's own Palomino horse. Oh, I'd like to be there if Roy could catch him. Operator. Listen, Sally, I just got away. They're holding us prisoner at Hank Bell's shack. Send somebody, quick. 
Uh, the rate to San Francisco is $2.70 for the first three minutes. Do you wish to place a call? Doesn't do any good to crank it. Better get me started downhill. Don't forget to give us a ring when you get us plugged in. Hello, KEX El Paso. Give me the master control. Hello, Jim. This is Roy. We're coming in on these facilities with a plus four level. You ride the game. Stand by, boys. It's after 1.30. Turn on that El Paso station. There he is. Say, maybe he's coming in by remote control. up in those hills? Could those fellows be hiding out? There's a sheep herder shack up in the mountains, the only place I can think of. Hey, Hank, where are you? If I have to ride a horse to too many of these concerts, I'm going to trade this bull fiddle for a Jew's heart. <laughs> Why don't you put wheels on it? Hey, Hank, come out behind that hot cake. You're under arrest. Get him! Get off of those horses. cowboy do when all of his work is through just what i'm going to do now with money to spend and jingle off into town to mingle with all my friends i allow now maybe my blue-eyed gal will wait for this bronco pal and ride over the hot desert ground true heart and golden hair know that i'll soon be there when payday rolls around i'm just a nut in style for in a little while i'm gonna ride Is Pat all right? 
All I'm worried about is Roy. The young whippersnapper's made an outlaw out of himself, and he ain't fixed a darn thing. They're holding that meeting tonight over at the Casseria. That's all I need to know. You shouldn't show up in town. Ain't gonna do mighty good. Yes, it is. I've got a plan. But after I get the boys out, I'll need some fast transportation. Yeah. Sheriff's holding your station wagon for evidence. It's over to Steinberger's garage. Well, that's all right. Get me the garage, quick. Mm -hmm. Trade it back to me. with you. We didn't have anything to do with it. So, which one of you guys is going to put it back? Why, it's a jailbreak! Good John Allison? Happy? It's in the bag. <laughs> Came up this morning with a twinkle in his eye and gave the world this morning that summer's drawing nigh. He gathered up the pearls of dew that sparkled on the plains and filled the air with perfume rare out on the rolling rain. And now the cowboys are singing. Kaye just because it's springtime on the range today. And now the roosters are crowing. They're feeling gay. Everything is happy on the range today. The prairie doves are pairing off together. It's the weather that makes them want to feather their love nest. Clover is blooming. They'll soon be hay. Just because it's springtime on the range 